I can tell you, in general, uh, Hong Kong, it was just a, a joy to everybody's ears. I mean, everything's full. I've never seen, especially Lang Pai Fong, uh, I've never seen so many people in Lang Pai Fong from the mainland. Um, all good, well-dressed young people coming uh, through uh, taking pictures, spending money. Uh, figures were really good. Figures were between 25 and 35 percent up uh, over uh, over last, well, the last 2019. And uh, in general, that there was just a great feeling here. Uh, this young traveler that has now come from mainland China, uh, they were all over Hong Kong, not just in the shopping malls, but uh, basically going to uh, restaurants, little little uh, restaurants in Shamshu Po, uh, different districts that were, uh, you know, off the beaten track, and 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 going for hikes uh, using the the beaches. It was it was uh, a different kind of holiday for them. But well, the the uh, shopping malls did very very well. Some re reported uh, more than fifty percent uh, uh, up in figures. Uh, Hotels, as you said, have been uh, really, you know, although they raised rates and all that, uh, it was just amazing that uh, they had 99% occupancy. So in general, uh, Hong Kong was on steroids. It's really, really come back. And Hong Kong really started in January with uh, events, uh, one or two every month. Uh, starting from Asian Financial uh, Forum in January to st at the marathon, uh, the Standard Charter Marathon, the International Jewelry Show that we had in March was a record. It had uh, 2,600 exhibitors, uh, people from 60 countries coming in. There was a two-hour wait for those that were not registered to come into the show. It was amazing. Uh, you know, Hong Kong is really back on. I would say on steroids, the uh, clock and uh, clock and flap, which is the Hong Kong's music and arts festival, uh, also sold out first time in 15 years, and and so it just continues. The rugby sevens was really really well received. Uh, people from all over the world coming back again, uh, and then of course uh, Art Basel. Uh, came here and it was a record. They, they sold 50% of all the paintings in the first day that in, in the show and mostly to South Koreans and, and uh, mainland Chinese. And so uh, they've got uh, so many people signing up for the next one. So there's so many. And then of course now with uh, the West Kowloon, which is the cultural district in Hong Kong, you've got uh, M plus mm -hmm. uh, at the Yayomi Kusama, Kusama uh, exhibition, which uh, is famous artist from Japan, that uh, had thousands of, of, of uh, tourists coming. It, it was just great. Now at the Palace Museum, there uh, you've got the uh, Cartier exhibition, which is the the world class uh, uh, Cartier exhibition that goes around the world. And so Hong Kong has suddenly become a cultural uh, destination uh, for people.